Hello, I'm George Hockmuth. I'm with the Soil and Water Science Department at the University of Florida in Gainesville, Florida. We're in our research fields today looking at vegetable fertilizer research. Specifically, we're going to talk about the use of controlled release fertilizers to supply nitrogen to various vegetable crops. We're going to look at tomatoes, peppers, and watermelons. The controlled release fertilizer approach involves putting all of the nitrogen fertilizer at one time before we plant the crop and then the crop grows with that nitrogen fertilizer for the full length of the season. Comparison with the fertigated program where we inject fertilizer in small amounts throughout the growing season. So our purpose of our research here is to compare those two treatments. Uh, we're looking at plant growth, uh, we look at nutrient uptake, and we look at the final product, the yield and the quality of the fruits uh, that are grown uh, with those different fertilizer treatments. Eric, I've been interested in nitrogen fertilizer of vegetable crops for many years and studying different kinds of strategies for supplying nitrogen that produces good crops yet um, results in minimized uh, losses of nitrogen. In this particular case, you and I have been working together for several years on controlled release fertilizer products. Maybe you can um, tell us a little bit about your role um, with the, your company and uh, something about the controlled release uh, programs that we're testing here. Well, what we are trying to achieve as an industry is to allow growers to do to get the same level of production that they're presently getting with less nitrogen. And, you know, fertigation is one practice by which you can split your applications over time. Uh, but controlled release is a different form of splitting your applications over time, but it's a, it's a more simple approach and it allows you to make one fertilizer application and you don't necessarily have to worry about all the injections associated with fertigation and splitting your applications among, I don't know, six or eight fertigations over the growing season. And so what we want to do as a company is work with uh, expert faculty and extension personnel across the country to try to establish the value proposition of our products. In, in my case, I'm trying to understand how it works for specialty ag, including vegetable crops, uh, leafy greens, and even permanent crops. The products that we're testing are granular fertilizers that have been coated with a thin polymer film. And what that polymer film does is essentially uh, protect your fertilizer nutrients from loss. And as long as the nutrients are held within that coating, they are protected from loss mechanisms, including nitrate leaching or volatilization or denitrification. However, that film contains very tiny pore openings that allow the nutrients to move out into the soil. So to activate these products, what's required is exposure to soil moisture. So what happens is the water moves in and it dissolves up the fertilizer granule or the fertilizer nutrients inside the polymer coating. And then the, the individual ions or molecules can move out through the tiny pore openings and into the soil and essentially release the nutrients to the soil over time. And so we can vary the coating thickness to affect the release time so that we can choose essentially based on soil temperature the right product for a given application. In this case, uh, the products were ch that we've chosen uh, were, were chosen based on soil temperatures that we logged last year. And so we understand the relationship between temperature and release so that um, we can make the, the proper decision of which product to use for a, a particular crop and geographical region. 